Okay, what we have here is the Advanced Tech Engineering's hydrogen generator. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this little Geo Metro off of it, which is currently running right now on gasoline. And we're going to use the alternator off of this truck to run the hydrogen generator because the little alternator in the Geo is way too small. It's a 55 amp alternator. The truck has about a 100 amp alternator. The generator is going to consume probably 120 amps. And uh, we got the hose here, it goes to the bubbler, the Advanced Tech Engineering's bubbler. It goes from there over to here to the setup, which is going to run the car. Those balloons are in case there's a backfire, it will blow those off, which there will not be. I have some valves down here to turn the gas on and off and to prove that it turns the gas off. I will show you when I pull this lever, the car will die. Sooner or later. And there it is, it's dead. It is no longer running. Turn it back on. Started. Car is started again. We will turn the valve off one more time so you can see. The valve is down here. I don't know if you can see that. Turn it off. The car is trying to die. See that it's spinning there. And it's dead. Okay, so what we're going to do is start the car again. We're going to run it off of hydrogen. This switch here will switch on the hydrogen. And this will switch off the gas. And I have a pressure gauge here which has a valve on it. I will turn on. As long as the bubbler will hold that pressure. And then we are going to run the car, turn on the switch for the hydrogen. There's the amp meter there. It is showing 20 amps. And that's one electrode. I only have one of these per electrode, and there are five of them. So you have to multiply that by five. I will come over here and turn the switch. The gasoline off. Actually, I'm going to turn the hydrogen on first. Turn the gasoline off. It's in the off position. And now, now the car is running on hydrogen. Runs no problem. We did have to change the timing to get it down to the right liters per minute. This is the liters per minute gauge. It is running now at five liters per minute. The only way to get it to run at five liters per minute is to change the timing. If you don't, it will max out at 20 psi or 20 liters per minute plus. You won't even be able to tell how many liters per minute the car is consuming. So we have to change the timing. Again, this is running on hydrogen only. You have to start it on gasoline. You cannot start it on hydrogen this method anyway because there's not enough vacuum from the engine. So you start it on gasoline, turn the gasoline off. The starter does not produce enough vacuum from the engine while trying to turn the engine over to start your car in hydrogen. You will backfire. And there you have it. It is running, proving that it can be done. This is a special setup right here to allow me to mix this vapor into the carburetor at an efficient rate. The hose going over here to the bubbler which is bubbling like crazy. 
and two, the Advanced Tex generator, which is sitting in a cooling tub. It is designed to have water flow through it. With those three white caps you see on top, water flows through those and cools, com coolant comes out the other side. And that is how we're going to cool it when it is inside the car. Again, this is Advanced Tech Engineering, and uh, that's the generator running the Geo Metro.